please note that this is not a kid friendly channel. This channel is for adult collectors, for anime figures, collectibles and various other anime items. What is up my beautiful nerd crew, tis my Rachelness, how's it going? I have a lovely box review for you today from the wonderful people of Capsule Box by Nihon Box. Um, so if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, this is a monthly capsule subscription or Gashapon box. Uh, you get seven or six capsules depending on the box. And uh, yeah, you get some fun stuff. You can get figures, you can get puzzles and random everyday little items you can use. So it's quite fun. Uh, so, um, yeah, really enjoying the, these boxes, so I'm going to carry it on for a bit. Uh, I know there's Pokemon in this month's box and Dragon Ball, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what Dragon Ball figure I got. And uh, a few other little bits and pieces, so I haven't opened it, I've literally just sliced it open uh, so we can enjoy the nerdy goodness. So I'm going to leave the box on the table and whack it here. And also, fun thing about this box is if you're the premium subscriber, um, so I think if you're on like the... Um, the longest subscription going the 12 month subscription uh you get parts in the box um every month to make this into an actual machine i did this with my first box because it was my first box and it was quite fun to make so and um, this is the pamphlet so this reveals everything in the box so if there's anything you need help with so it's all japanese or you don't know what the hell it is then you can refer to this and on the back it's just about the box itself so you can refer to other people and on the top, there's just a little paper to cover it all up so you can't have a sneaky peek. So it's all covered in gashapon. So let's crack on and see what we've got. I'm just going to pop my scissors here because sometimes the gashapon are taped to hell and I can't do it. So I'm going to work my way from the smallest um, up until the biggest capsule. So first up we have, ooh, we get a bonus item. So if you're a long time subscriber, uh, you get little bonus items, which is kind of cool. Nihon Box do the same thing. So this is a uh, Gudidhama, uh like crisp stick. Um, I think they're called a Maibo. Um, so I'll eat this later. So obviously I don't know what flavor it is, but with Gudidhama, I'd say egg um, or possibly bacon because he's covered in bacon. So yeah, I'll eat that later because I am actually getting quite hungry. So let us start with the capsule. So smallest one we got one is here. So let's see. So it's a clear white capsule. I uh, can't see what's in it because it's sort of um, uh, cloudy. Not, cloudy. Not see through. <laughs> okay. So first up is a dog with bird legs. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's weird. So here we go. So it's like a little, um, is it a German pincher or a Dachshund, I think? Uh, it looks like the dog from Up, the one that had the weird squeaky voice. <laughs> Where is the bird? <laughs> yeah, it's got like weird pigeon feet and a pigeon body. It's like, what the hell is this? This is so weird. And it's got a gold collar on. And so, yeah, you now have all of its up quotes in my head. So, yeah, we had like the banana bird in the last box. So that's quite strange. <laughs> the dog's face is actually really well sculpted. Uh, so let's see what we can get. So apparently this is volume two of a collection. Uh, there's six in a set and they're normally uh, 200 yen each, which is about pound fifty in UK. So these are all the different ones we can get. So there's a beagle, uh, a bichon phrase, the German dog. I think you sure this is a Doberman pincher. Uh, a corgi. I like the corgi. Uh, like a little poodle and oh I love the French bulldog the French bulldog I would have loved uh, so yeah that is pretty random so I'm just going to quickly look at the pamphlet and try not get too many spoilers so this is from a series called Dog Bird Volume 2 in the wonderful world of Gashapon you'll often collect all kinds of fun and crazy items no need to describe what dog bird collection means it clearly speaks for itself there are six figures of these dogs with a bird body available at random so okay so random dog bird <laughs> so it's gonna pop in there so that is our first capsule so I'm just going to work my way from the front because they're all relatively the same size. So let's go for this other clear capsule. And oh, I can see who's in it straight away. It looks like Miss Hatsune Miku. And I am a bit of a Miku fan. I'm not like one of those people that writes the music and knows all the songs. I know a couple of the songs. 
and I collect a couple of figures of her. Uh, but yeah, she's really cute. Oh, this is from the uh, Snow Miku series. So here she is. So she's got a lovely blue hair, and she's got her snow thing on. So look, look pretty much um, with the figures of Nendroid, they pretty much do a Snow Miku every year. So they have a different Christmas Miku. So kind of like what they do with Barbies. They always do a Christmas Barbie, but the other year they do Christmas Miku. So here she is. So she's pretty much in her like a standard outfit, but they're just blue and white. So that's really super cute. And it's got a clear like ice blue backing. So that's really cool. So that will go with my little Gashapon collection above my TV because it's just too nice to put on a bag. I wouldn't want this to get grubby because it's quite pastel. But that is awesome. So let's just see what others in the series there are. So here we go. So here's all the various ones we could get. So there's just Miku standing. Here's the one we got with her pointing. There's one of her in a sort of like white Santa-y outfit. Uh, this is a figure that they have done. I know this one. This is the uh, Snow Priestess series. I love this figure. It's gorgeous. If you see the colours in this, it's lovely. And one of her as like a little snow witch. So again, they have made this figure as well. I don't know about these ones. Um, but I know they definitely have made the, these two, so they are very, very cute. So that's cool. I love Hatsune Miku, so just going to pop her there. And then let's carry on diving in. So we have a black and clear capsule, and already I can see what's in it. It says Super Mario. Uh, I am a little bit of a Nintendo nerd. I have cosplayed as uh, Princess Peach before and uh, Ros Rosalina from Super Mario Galaxy. Mario Galaxy uh, number one is my one of my all-time favourite Nintendo games to play. Uh, probably second would be uh, Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Those, um, Luigi's Mansion is also a favourite of mine, and Pikmin. So yeah, I kind of like the old school 2000s Nintendo games. So it looks like we have some sort of pinball puzzle game. I'm not sure if we have to put it together, but I will soon see. So, oh, okay. It's like one of these old school games you used to get like a, like McDonald's and stuff. So sorry if you can't see it. So on the back, there's the bad guy. So there's Bowser, Abu, um, Kid Bowser, a Goomba and one of the little turtle things. I can't remember what they're called. And so basically it's like one of those ones where you have to flip the little marbles up to the top. Uh, you know, just, you know, mess around with it. And it also comes... Oh no, it's not. I thought there was a keychain bit. Oh, okay, there's some coins here on the back. So I'm guessing that's what you flip up. I thought there were like metal balls you have to flip up. So I had to figure out how to get them out. <laughs> so um, yay, that's kind of cool, but I'll play around with it. So I uh, just quickly refer to the pamphlet. So what we have here is the Super Mario Jump Game. Test your agility thanks to the collection of Gashapon featuring Super Mario. Try to reach the goal by using the small plastic puck and pushing the bottom at the right time. Six different games at random in this box. So pretty cool. So if there was one with Princess Peach on, I would have liked it. But I do like the bad guys because they are quite cool designs. Oh, and I forgot to mention Miku's bio. So let's have a look. So these from the Nendroid Plus. Okay, so they were from the Nendroid series. Um, Snow Miku keychains. So Miku is dressed for winter in this new series of keychains from Good Smile. Five different designs are available random and are also pretty so yeah sorry i forgot to read the bio i thought it'd be easier to read the bios after rather than do it all in one go it just saves a little bit of time because <laughs> i do waffle um and just with the mario uh let's just see what other ones are available and it tells us also how to use it so these are all the six designs we could get so there's one with all the mario crew uh one with luigi and mario um, one with princess peach and toad i would have liked that one uh, another one there, sorry my camera's not focusing, with Luigi and uh, Mario, Bowser in the gang, and one with just Mario and a couple of the power apps. So super duper cool, so I can actually get the coins in the machine, so I know how to do that now. Right, let's dig on. I'm going to go for one at the back. So, ooh, I see a cat or something. So it's in a white capsule with clear top. So it looks like a random cat. I don't know if this is like a mascot or an anime character, but... I'll soon find out once it's opened and if I can get the capsule open because as usual it is sealed to death with tape and that's why I have my handy dandy scissors. So if you've got kids I would advise opening them up for them before they get into them, don't cut themselves with scissors. So, 
Oh, he's a sad kitty. It looks like a little coin purse. So he's got like a little black... This is, I'm not sure if it's a, oh actually it's just his black patch and he's got a little spot on his nose my cat Poppy has like a weird smudge on but just above his nose here <laughs> and it's just so cute because it kind of looks like a little half moustache so let's just get him out of his baggie oh it's actually quite soft it's a nice silky fabric and it's just the basic white inside so it's just a little sad little kitty and he's, he's actually blushing and he's got a little tear so maybe he's kind of you know like happy he's gonna get a fish or something i don't know <laughs> so let's just see what others there were on the pamphlet so uh this is a set of five and they are normally 400 yen each so uh usually about four dollars or about three pound fifty in the uk so here is the set so we have uh, one of them just smiling, one of them really super happy, there's the one we got where he's crying, one of them where it's really grumpy, and I'm guessing this is his human character wearing a costume. So let's just refer to the booklet to what it was from. So this is from a uh, Ojisama to Neko small pouch so discover fukumaru the cute and funny cat from the manga ujisama toneko for his collection of small pouches there are five pouches featuring random expressions in your box so it might be a manga i'll check out because i love cats because yeah they're one of my favorite animals and i have two of them and they are tuxedo cats so this is black and white so technically he's a tuxedo cat so yay that's kind of cute right i'm gonna go for this poi for one feels quite light so Let's see what we got. Hopefully it's something fun. I love anime figures personally, but sometimes they do include some really random puzzles or little items you can use. Okay, so it's some sort of wooden puzzle. So uh, I'm not very good with these. These aren't really my thing. I'm not really into brain busters. The most I do is like a <laughs> like candy crush <laughs> yeah, but you do have to actually plot your route when you're doing those kind of games so it's covered in plastic so it looks like you got i'm not i have no idea what you meant to do i not a clue i'm guessing you meant to get the rings off somehow and unlock it i i don't know it this is random it looks like a it looks like a torture device of a shoe <laughs> so okay so if you know what to do with this puzzle and um, think leave in the comments below but it's probably not when i'm going to keep myself because uh yeah it's not not really my cup of tea but let's have a look what other ones there are anyway so it says wood puzzle so seven in the set and doesn't say how much they normally are i'm probably guessing this is a two to three hundred yen puzzle so there's like loads of really random different ones so this is the one we got which is number six in the series and the rest are like these ones that you see like kind of like in science museum sort of shops so yeah it's different but yeah not one i'm probably going to keep so this is from the uh Chusa Enyo. So there's a big gashapon variety out there. A there is a one to discover, a new one to discover. A series of small wooden puzzles, seven different logic puzzles available at random. So yeah, not, not something I'm going to keep. Not not really something I want to do. But hey ho, that's the luck of the box. So let's get on to our last two. So we have yellow, and I see. A little pair of random eyes staring at me, and I think I know which character this might be. A certain duck with a headache. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pop it open and put it together. So I think this is one of... Yes, it is. It's a uh, Build-A-Figure keychain. So just give me two seconds, and I'm just going to put it together. Okay, so I've put him together. So here he is. So he is side up with a really big head, so I get why he's got a headache. Uh, so yeah, you just build it together. So it's pretty easy. All you do is just snap in the parts on the head and then pop in the arms on the side. And it's quite easy to build. And it's quite a cute figure. So it's kind of like that little random Gashapon Disney machine we had before. So pretty happy with that because I love Pokemon. I have ever since I was 12. So uh, in this series, there are four build figures so there's Psyduck, Slowpoke, Squirtle which I would have liked and Sleeping Pikachu which I also love because I love Pikachu so very very cute so let's just see where he's from so this is from the uh, Pokemon Chap Para series volume 5 
So the Chat Power of Pokemon series is back. We love it and we know it to do we know you do. So let's make it a great addition to your fast growing collection. The latest series includes four, which includes Pikachu, Squirrel, Psyduck, and Slowpoke. So very, very cool. Right, so we are now down to our last Gashapon. So I'm guessing this is going to be the Dragon Ball capsule and it's a bright orange, so it must be Dragon Ball because yeah. Goku and everything. So, ooh, okay, it's a little bit open already. So it's quite full up. So I think this is from the uh, high grade figure series. So, ooh, these are series 10 of the high grade series. So, oh my god, I love Perfect Cell. Then we have a uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta, Super Saiyan God Blue Vegeta, and uh, Ultra Instinct Goku. So I'm pretty sure we've got Ultra Instinct Goku because I saw silver as soon as I opened the capsule. I would have loved this one, uh, but definitely would have liked this one. But my partner would have had it off me in a heartbeat because that's his favourite villain. My favourite villain is Lord Frieza because, yeah, he's super awesome. So let's see. So, yeah, again, it's going to be a build figure. So here we have Ultra Instinct Goku in quite a few parts. So I'm going to put them together and show you what he looks like. Okay, so we built Goku, so here he is. So this is Ultra Instinct Goku from Dragon Ball Super. So if you've not watched the series, I highly recommend it, because I'm a massive fan girl for pretty much most of the characters. So this is at the end of season of Dragon Ball Super in the Universal Tournament arc. And yeah, this um, this moment in the anime is probably one of my favourite anime fights because the animation in it was oh, it was just superb it's really good so these are high grade figures so they're very well detailed very well painted figures and they are quite pricey i've seen some go for 30 pounds and these are only about what like six centimeters tall um but they're really really cool so it's really nice metallic paint look on his hair and eyebrows and his silver eyes as well so let me just bring a bit closer to the camera so really cool sculpt on the face there's no mist paints on this at all it's really nice a little bit on his wristband but not, not nothing, nothing i'm going to quibble over even just the chest detail is really cool and they've also done a lot of um uh variant grading on his trousers there's different like tones of yellow and orange obviously he's been in a fight so his clothes are all torn and everything but it really makes the figure stand out it's quite neonish in a way but it's not too garish and you've got the details on his boots and behind him he's got like a little spark of how like his um old instinct power so he's like he's jumping so that's really kind of cool uh but it's kind of cool because the peg actually holds in so you've kind of got to hold everything together but try and also not force the peg in too much so you don't snap it because yeah resin pegs are a bit of a pain especially when you know when you're trying to put together nendroids you're trying to put in that peg on the back without it snapping but then you've got all the accessories falling off at the same time it's annoying but yeah this is a super nice figure so this is probably my favorite thing of the box being dragon ball obviously so let's just have a look. So this is a uh, Dragon Ball Super um, Ultra Grade Series 10. It's not high grade, it's ultra grade. Sorry, I do apologise. Uh, so discover the latest detailed figures from the Dragon Ball Ultra Grade collection. Four figures are available. Sun Goku Ultra Instinct. Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Vegeta. Yeah, that's why it's uh, abbreviated SSSG SSS. <laughs> uh, Super Saiyan Vegeta and more rarely Perfect Cell. My second favourite for them. So very happy. So with sort of my favorites i'm gonna grade my favorite would be this my second favorite would probably be miku my third would be psyduck the purse my fourth this would be my fifth and i'm sorry one two three four five um yeah uh this would probably be my sixth favorite and the puzzle would be my least favorite um items of the box so all in all it's not a bad box so really looking forward to next month as uh they've got more demon slayer and dragon ball and pokemon in the next box so really looking forward to that so uh yeah so here's just the glimpse of everything in here so i've uh, we're giving out all the buyers and everything. Um, so yeah, it's been okay. So um, until I get my next box, guys, uh, which is your favourite item from this month's box? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, please like, share and subscribe my videos. I'm always welcome to more people to watch my nerdy channel. And I'm happy to do this. So until next time, guys, I'm going to say sayonara. And stay nerdy, stay happy and keep collecting my nerds. Bye. Thank you.